Brad Pitt ended up spending one night in this house with me. Then they came along and made Snatch and Guy Ritchie knowing who I was and what I was about and who the company I was with um, were very watchable and filmable. In making Snatch, he'd done the audition for Snatch in my back garden and had me use all of my friends um, to come to the audition, which he chose an awful lot of them, put them in the film and once again couldn't actually say thank you to me or give me a little men mention my name in the whole making of it, you know, like Brad Pitt ended up spending one night in this house with me while that film was being made, while he was doing filming down in Caesars where me and Joe Pohl held our once every six weeks boxing uh, shows, you know, he ended up being you know, as a guest in my house. And he goes to me, hey Davey, what the fuck is a jelly deal, man? How do you put that in your mouth? That wasn't his accent, but it's the best accent I could think of at the time. And I was like, you know, he's, he, we had him quite a cool night. So that, that to me was quite sexy. He stayed in my house. Didn't want to go to sleep. He was just wowed. And um, and then Snatch came out. And like I said, I, I weren't I weren't given a credit in that. So I decided then to make my own film. And if my if my naughty men were good enough for Guy Ritchie to put in there as naughty men, that gave me the idea of I know an awful lot of celebrity people. They might not have celebrity jobs, but the actual core of the man or the woman. They are celebrities in the way they hold themselves, the way their character is, the core of the person. So I made a gangster movie um, where everybody in it was real. The doorman in it is a doorman. The barman in it is actually a barman. The working girl in it is a working girl. The gangsters in it are gangsters. It's their suits, their car, their gun, their haircut, their accent. Right? And they don't need scripts or being told how to behave and what to do and what face to put on in a certain situation of their life because they all do it for real. Yeah. And after making the film, everyone was going, wow, you're all such good actors. Where do you know? None of us are acting. I played Dave. Yeah. Seymour played Seymour. Brenda played Sa Brendan. Terry Turbo played Terry Turbo. You know, everyone played themselves and... Um, and it worked very, very well, you know. It turned out to be a fantastic film, even if I do say so myself. I think it still holds up today. And we took it to Cannes. It won Best of Group at Cannes, you know. And, and in doing that at Cannes, the, I decided to bring 40 or 50 of my boys out with me that were in the film. And the advertising, the advertising campaign that you have to do in Cannes is such a financial burden on anyone, you know, that I... Spielberg was his posters were 250 grand each made of all different color oils and as the sun comes up the poster changed it was 10,000 pounds for a 15 second advert on the telly yeah it was 5,000 pounds for two lines in the newspaper it's absolutely stupid uh, the, uh, how you have to advertise your film so what I done is I brought 50 gangsters out there with me all in black suits I am to wear a white one, uh, drove the Ollie Davidson that I used in the film, and we just paraded round Cairns as if we were in the West End, and we stole the show. Like, we actually stole the show. Uh, one of my most memorable moments is um, Russell Crowe was doing that look outside the hotel we was with, with just a white T-shirt and Levi's, you know, I don't need no sparkly bits. And when there's like 300 photographers, as they're all taking pictures, you can hear all the clicks going. So we pulled up on the other side of the road, a geezer in a white suit with another 50 blokes in black suits, all bald headed flat nosed geezers, and they just like, wow, they all run across the road from him, and he's banging, clicking away with us and all that, and we're doing that little bit of showing off. And because I'm signing, I'm signing the flyers of, of myself, because uh, I'm just signing it, I'm not looking up to see the person. And Russell Crowe's come over to see who this geezer is, picked up a flyer, read it, come over to the motorbike seat where it was and rent the yard. And I haven't actually looked up to see who it is, and I've done this in front of all my friends, so I'm not lying, it's, it's provable. And it's, it's give me a thing and I'm signing it and I'm going, Utu, 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 you know, and, uh, and he's giving me it, so I've just got, and all my, all my mates are looking at it and going, wow, it's Russell. So I've had this going, uh, what's your name? And then he laughed, and I'm like, well, what's your name then? And he went, Russell, and I looked at him, and it's Russell Crowe. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm really sorry. I am really, really sorry. I said, to be perfectly honest, without a little leather skirt on and a few dead Christians lying around on the floor, I said, I didn't fucking know who you were, right? 
And I, and I don't know why I said this. I, 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 I thank you, God, for putting the words in my mouth. But I went, listen, I said, I'll tell you where you went wrong, Russ. Right, just to be funny, you know me, I'm having a laugh. I'll tell you where you went wrong, Russ. I mean, it was all them other gladiators around you made you look good too. But now you're out here getting the pat on your back. You're out here on your own. I said, I brought all my gladiators with me. And I could actually visually see them all grow in front of my face like, I'm Spartacus Dave, I'm fucking Spartacus. You know, it was beautiful. That's just one. It's beautiful stories, beautiful stories. But then, then we've actually stole the show there and um, brought it back to England. It was getting all over the newspapers and everything like that. And all of a sudden, the authorities banned it. 